Okay, because what you won't do, okay, is make me a Caucasian lady, okay, or light skin to dip. I like my melon and some chocolate. Hey, 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 good folks. It's your girl Adina at Miss Dina 610, and I am here today because. First of all, I feel like talking to y'all, so that's number one. But number two, I got several boxes yesterday, okay? Several. Um, and that's when I realized maybe I'm doing too much. I don't know. Chad, listen. Y'all have seen the couple of videos that I have put up about the Hush app. Bomb, 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 bomb. Right? Like, you're not going to find many other deals as great as the Hush app. The app is free. When you buy on the app, you don't have to pay shipping, which is my numero uno thing about that app, okay? You don't pay shipping on the app. Um, and I find that the products are reasonably priced. Um, I'm really there for the dupe palettes. Call me what you want to. Just don't call me late for a dupe palette sale. Okay. In general, palettes, I think, are really pretty. Some of them are really my steez, and I am so over can I say over with the cat with a big old O, like a, a O. I am so over the neutral, like just everybody putting out neutral palettes. It's driving me crazy. Okay. Wanted to come today to share with you guys my new purchases. Um, and I'll do a separate video for the things. Like if you guys want to see separate videos, I'll do separate videos. Um, on if there's anything in particular you guys want to see. So the first thing that I got from the Hush app was and I took it out of the box already but the Aphrodite palette now as y'all know I already own the Athena palette and I have a video on this one do I no I don't have a video on this so let me get let me know if you guys want to see like swatches and stuff from this I'll make a video for it but I picked up the um Aphrodite palette which is an 18 color uh, eyeshadow palette and it is a dupe on I think the dusk rose this is dusk I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out one of the Huda, Huda beauty palettes I really really like it and it's a really sturdy package though these are the colors I just stuck my finger in that one let's try it again so these are the colors with your mirror here really nice mirror they are very pretty as you can tell you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten matte shades, and then eight shimmers and such. The next thing that I picked up is the Ordinary's um, High Adherent Silicone Primer. I really enjoy silicone primers. Um, the current one that I'm using is the Wet n Wild. I think y'all see me use those in a tutorial, but um, that is my current primer i don't own a lot of primers i'm trying to get into picking up different ones so that i can um that i can see like what the differences are and how they interact with foundations like for my personal knowledge like yeah i can watch other beauty gurus but i want to know for myself you know what what it looks like what it feels like what the differences are and that kind of thing um, so let me see, do they have anything? So supports makeup adherence, visible surface texture, and hydration, which is what I need. I wouldn't say that I necessarily have dry skin. I'm very normal. I don't really like get oily during the day. Um, summertime I will sweat like the dickens dough. Um, so anyway, so this is what it looks like and I cannot wait to use this. Um, I just tried a, the last video that I uploaded with my hair wrap. I had on Fenty Beauty there and I didn't put on like a lot of layers or a lot of the foundation, but I cannot wait to try that with this primer. Um, it went really well with my Wet n Wild primer though. I really did enjoy that. So we'll be getting into this and of course, leave me comments and let me know if you've used any of this. I know The Ordinary is um, a really popular brand and the products are like really cheap. Like I don't even remember what I paid for this eight dollars i think maybe eight dollars so yeah so we'll be trying that and lastly from the hush app i picked up these three um collagen eye patches um and i think these cost me like five six bucks something like that they are you know part of the whole korean beauty fad thing so i'm gonna try them out and see what i think um on the back it says formulated with collagen to revitalize and improve appearance around eyes 
and if y'all don't know I have a raccoon I, I don't have anything on my face right so over the years this has gotten progressively worse progressively worse like I used to be one color just a little tinge or something but baby I don't know what happened so anyway maybe it was from carrying humans I don't know you know what I'm saying I've had you know a lot of trauma and stuff over the last few years and I just need maybe I just need some relax and relax like relaxation you know what I'm saying and a bunch of bunch of water right although I do drink my water don't get me wrong but I think it's a more of a genetic thing for me if it can be which I'm not sure so anyway all the women on my mother's side of the family have the raccoon eyes and my grandmother on my father's side have them too and so do my aunts over there so you know maybe they just gang maybe my genes are ganging up on me which y'all think could be could be not anyway so I picked these up to try them out um I'm definitely gonna do a review about these because like you know I'm really nervous about like sheet masks and stuff of that nature like I'm really it makes me nervous like it makes my skin crawl a little bit because like I don't know and girl let me just share with y'all I found these I had these I got these in an ipsy one month and this right here baby when I tell you I seen whitening and I was like I'm not using this I'm gonna do some research and um take what is in English here and put this into the Googles baby because what you won't do okay is make me a Caucasian lady okay or light skin to death. I like my melanin and chocolate -ness, okay so I'm gonna check it out and see and what the hell is a mugwort I've heard of it before but I don't know exactly what it is and that combined with astringent baby I don't listen you won't be burning the hell out of my face no you won't okay so moving on the next thing that I picked up I went into Sephora right listen I feel like such a tacky individual but I shouldn't. I shouldn't be shamed. You know what I'm saying? I shan't be shamed. Okay. But um, I went into Sephora because I wanted to pick this up. I wanted to pick up a trial size of the Bad Gal Bang. Um, this is Benefit's new mascara. They do produce my absolute favorite hands down mascara, which is their real. The Benefit their real is my holy grail of uh, mascaras. Love it. Okay. I know a lot of people like better than sex. I've never tried it because I got stuck on their reel. So that right now is my holy grail. Um, I'm also liking the Maybelline um, Colossal Colossal with um, Makeup Shayla. So I'm going to try this Bad Gal Bang. But I went into Sephora and they had none. Like there were none of the sample sizes left. And the sample is $12 or mini i'm sorry it's 12 dollars. so did you know and you probably did because y'all probably shop at sephora more than i do but sephora when you can order it in the store you can order anything in the store and just have it shipped to your house like if it's out of stock or something and they ship it for free so i spent my little 12 dollars and 72 cents to have it sent to my house because i paid for the product and that was it so it came to the house i have not tried it yet i've barely opened it i've cracked the top a couple times and stopped myself because i'm like damn girl you gonna mess around it ain't gonna be no good when you finish with your colossal situation and I'll probably use it before then. So anyway, um, I picked this up. And next, <sighs> ColourPop. And I just want to address <laughs> Agent Gorgeously, who is a uh, buddy of mine, Lulu. And um, listen, Lulu, ColourPop, I, I like ColourPop, okay? Oh, wait a minute, there's a ColourPop. I like ColourPop, don't get me wrong. My thing is, is all of their new shades look the same. Like all of the shades look the same unless they're colored. And so everything that I have purchased is colored. So that's why I bought it. <laughs> I'm terrified of their new situations. I'm terrified of them because I, I bought some before and they are not fat, like they're not flattering at all. Like at all. Okay. So, so the first lip pencil that I picked up is Mamacita. And um, it was a part of a collab that ColourPop did with I Love Sarah um, with two eyes, babe. Okay, Sarah with two eyes. Okay, so this is the packaging. The top just, oh wait, if you got to push extra hard for the top. But this is how their lip pencils come, lip liner pencils. And this is a swatch. So I this looks like a staple color to me. Like, this is my, let me find my way. This is my staple, like, shade. Like, I put this shade with, like red lipsticks purple lipsticks pink lipsticks because it always to me like and i tend to use more blue based lipsticks um than ashier lipsticks or cool like cool lipsticks so anyway um it always seems to bring out like a purple kind of 
for me when I pair them with those colors and it always works for me. So if you've ever tried it, you know what I mean. And um, if it worked for you, of course, and if it did not, then let's chat about it. Let's get some ideas flowing, okay? So the next pencil that I picked up is Click, um, which looks to be just one of their regular old staple pencils, which is a red. Like I need anything else red. It looks like this as well. Let's get a swatch pattern. And it is like a orange red. So I have some oranges that I want to use this summer and I wanted something deeper to go with them. Um, I have like some MAC oranges that I really shouldn't have bought, but I bought because they were like limited edition and I sold the rest of them years ago. This is, listen. Anyway, so that is that and this is called Click. And I really want to ex like expand my lip color usage this year um like my lipsticks i have purchased so many lipsticks y'all like i have so many lipsticks um so many lipsticks this here is the ellery lip pencil which coincidentally looks just like the mama Cita pencil like there is really no difference somebody like maybe once i put it on i'll see it do y'all see a difference this is mama Cita. this is the ellery lip pencil look the same to me so technically I have a backup. Alrighty then. That's what I'm saying about ColourPop. Like even when you look online, the lip, it just they all look the same. Like I can't pick one because they all look the same to me. I, I just, I can't. So <clears throat> this color is called Heart On. Ooh, and it's like a, it reminds me of Max Heroin is what it reminds me of, which is what I probably will pair this with as well as maybe um, some other purple um, lipsticks and stuff like that. Hopefully y'all can see this really well. But that is it. Their heart on is R and B. Now, this is um, a deeper purple and it's really, really pretty. And I ordered the lipstick R and B, like A-R-E and B-E is how they lay it out. Um, and it does not look like this, but I'm hoping that the two of them pair well together because the lipstick is like more nudey, purple, pinky like. So I'm hoping that it pairs with this. I have not even tried that yet. This is the Ellery Lippy Stick. Okay, so this is supposed to pair with her lip liner. And that is that there. And it's supposed to be able to create an ombre effect um, on the lips. So that's what that looks like picked up a concealer from ColourPop. I've heard so many things about the concealers at ColourPop and I just wanted to see, you know, if I had a shot, you know what I mean? If I could pick out the right concealer. And girl, I don't think that I did. It's red, um, so I'm not really sure. And I hate to even, um, I don't really want to swatch it, but in tube, it looks like it will work really well. Um, but when you open it up, it is darker. So that is the applicator um, there. And I think I'm going to use it anyway because I paid for it. And I really don't want to give it to anybody, like especially upon swatching and stuff. I don't know. It's coming up yellow on camera. More yellow. But it looks a little, I don't know, a little red. So I'm going to try it out and then try it with my banana powder and, um, and see what happens. Like if I can get it to pull yellow and really highlight under my eyes. Since that's something, that's, that's a personal project that I'm working on is learning how to highlight um, with concealer and seeing if banana powder is a thing for me or if I need not do that. So that is the ColourPop Concealer in shade Deep number 70. And we have finally got to the end. I know you're probably tired of me talking. And I have so enjoyed talking to you though. But I'm going to go. And I'm going to let y'all get back to your day, your night, your evening, your morning, whatever it is, your day. But what I want you to do is whatever video comes up right here, that means that YouTube is speaking to you. My channel is speaking to you. My channel wants you to continue to go on and watch one of these 263 videos I got on here, baby. Okay? Whatever pops up right here is what YouTube feels that you need. Okay? So go on and listen to YouTube. And I'll see y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay? Don't forget to tell somebody to tell somebody else. Okay? Be a part of the clan. Okay? I'll talk to you soon. Bye.